Wisconsin Point is a beautiful stretch of land and a popular place to take in the sights and sounds of Lake Superior. But what a lot of people don't realize is that it's rich in Native American history. As CBS 3's Natalie Grant found, that history is behind a push to change the name of the road leading out to the point. Well, my family's been living out here for, or they did live out here, for a couple of hundred years. Before the sandy beaches and hiking trails, Wisconsin Point was home to the Fond du Lac tribe. There was a school out here, there was a fire hall out here. A satellite village used to occupy the end of the point, but was moved many years ago. Now descendants of the original people who occupied the land are asking the city to better represent the point's history by changing the name of the road that leads out to it. It's kind of a, a recognition that we were here and that we still are. According to Bob Miller, who's a descendant of the Osagi heritage, Moccasin Mike was not an indigenous man, rather the nickname given to a local politician. One of the things that uh, they had back then to try and build up support in the native community was they would take nicknames. Moccasin Mike was his nickname. Now Miller and his family want a new name for the road and want it to be a collaborative decision. It needs to be decided on by all the stakeholders, the city government, uh, the city councilors, the families that were out here. Um, I think it should be something that we can all agree on. And while nothing has been decided yet, Miller says a change like this could benefit everyone. Social change is difficult. And it always will be. And in this time period right now, it's really a time to sit down and reflect before these changes come in. And before the name change can happen, it must go through city committees before landing in front of the city council. Superior City Councilor Jenny Van Sickle has shown her support for the change. In a statement, she said the change will be an educational and healing process and that it's the city's responsibility to build a stronger relationship with the First Nations.